ungodly, he established the worship of the Most High. It says this. Listen close now. All except David and Hezekiah and Josiah were defective. All right, so out of all the kings that we ever had, won't well, nobody but David, Hezekiah, and Josiah considered righteous in the end. All right, obviously in the time that Ecclesiasticus was written. It says, for they forsook the law of the Most High, even the kings of Judah fell. Therefore he gave their power unto others and their glory to a strange nation. They burnt the chosen city of the sanctuary and made the streets desolate, according to the prophecy of Jeremiah. For they entreated him evil, who nevertheless was a prophet, sanctified in his mother's womb, talking about Jeremiah here, that he might root out and afflict and destroy, that he um, might build up also and plant. And, he's, and it was Ezekiel who saw the glorious vision which was showed him upon the chariot of the cherubims. For he made mention of the enemies under the figure of the rain and directed them that went right. And of the twelve prophets, let, their, let, let the memorial be blessed and let their bones flourish again um, out of their place where they comforted Jacob and delivered them um, by assured hope. Let me give you the rundown of those 12 prophets. Right here in 2nd Edges 1 and uh, 38. It says, And now, brother, behold what glory, and see the people that cometh from the east, unto whom I will give for leaders Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Hosea, Amos, Micah, Joel, Obadiah, Jonas, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi, which is also called an angel of the Lord. So that's a rundown of the 12 prophets. All right, let's read. It says, how shall we magnify Zerubbabel? Even was a signet on the right hand. Um, it says he was a signet on the right hand. So was a... Uh, Joshua, the son of Josedek, who in their time built the house and set up a holy temple to the Lord, which was prepared for everlasting glory. And among the elect was Nehemiah, whose renown is great, who raised up for us the walls that were fallen and set up the gates and the bars and raised up our ruins again. But up upon the earth was no man created like Enoch, for he was taken from the earth. Neither was there a man born like unto Joseph, a governor of his brother, brethren, a stay of the people whose bones were regarded of the Lord. His bones were regarded of the Lord. It says Shem and Seth. This is going before the chosen line of Abraham was uh, created. It says Shem and Seth were, were in great honor among men. And so was Adam above every living thing in the creation. See, people think they can bad talk Adam nowadays and anybody before Abraham. Well, let me read you this. It says, Shem and Seth were in great honor among men. And so was Adam above every living thing in the creation, man. So Adam is to be well respected upon earth, man, in our time. Because he is still the father of us all, man. And also the um, scripture says, curse not and revile not the gods, which means the powers of the kings or the rule of your, of your people, man. So you ain't supposed to be going on and on about how wicked our kings have been neither, man. It is what it is. Teach it and move on, man, so people can know the history. But Adam is also to be well respected, man, because he was closer to the most high power than any of us, any of us uh, 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 are now. All right. When we return back into power in the kingdom and we are we translate it back into the kingdom, we're going to be close to the most high also. All right. Because let me read you this. It says, this is our second edge of six and fifty four. It says, and after these Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all and the people uh, 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 and the people also whom thou hast chosen. All right. The most high ain't never made you Lord of all the creatures. All right. So you wasn't closer to the most high than Adam. You, uh, uh, hopefully, the, the, uh, uh, well, we know for a fact that the elect will be eventually all close to the most high. 
But Adam is to be well, well respected by his descendants who are us. All right. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 50. This is, uh, it says, Simon the high priest, the son of Onias, who in his life repaired the house again, and his days fortified the temple, and by him was built from the foundation the double height, the high fortress of the wall about the temple, and his days the cistern to receive water, being uh, encompassed as the sea was covered with plate of, plates of brass. He took care of the temple. That it should not fall and fortify the city against besieging. How was he honored in the midst of the people in his coming out of the sanctuary? He was as the morning star in the midst of the cloud and as the moon at the full, as the sun shining upon the temple of the Most High and as the rainbow giving light in the bright clouds and as the flower of roses in the spring of the year, as lilies by the rivers of waters and as branches of the frankincense tree in the time of summer, as fire and incense in the censer and as a vessel of beaten gold Set with all manner of precious stones Alright This is talking about Simon the high priest The son of Onias It says And as a fair olive tree Budding forth of fruit And as a cypress tree Which groweth up to the clouds When he put on the robe by honor And was clothed with the perfection of glory When he went up to the holy altar He made the garment of holiness honorable When he took the portions Out of the priest's hands He himself Stood by the hearth of the altar, can pass with his brethren round about as a young cedar in Lebanus, and as palm trees can pass they him round about. So were all the sons of Aaron in their glory, and the oblations of the Lord in their hands, before all the congregation of Israel, and the finishing the service at the altar, that he might adorn the offering of the Most High. He stretched out his hand to the cup and poured out. Poured of the blood of the grape, he poured out at the foot of the altar a sweet smelling savior unto the most high king of all. Alright, see that? See all that stuff that these white people would make you look at like voodoo and witchcraft? These were the righteous rituals of our people, man. This was our heritage and our our, 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 our um our, our deep dark mystical connection with the most high, man. We are deep dark mystical people. With all this pricking and pouring of blood and blood of the grape and wine and animals um, being um, uh, 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 offered up on the altar and speaking in the holy um, Hebrew, man. Speaking directly to the Lord between the cherubims, feeling the power of the Most High, offering uh, sacrifices of animals. See, that's too deep, dark, and mystical for us to even uh, uh, perceive, man. That's why we don't do it no more. We just do it with the spirit of the Lord and, and are praising the most high with our mouth and our prayers. See that? So we're in a whole new time zone, time age right now. All right, we done lost a little bit of that connection, man. Um, this is verse 13. It says, um, it's a lot. This is verse 16. It says, then shouted the sons of Aaron and sounded the silver trumpets and made a great noise to be heard. For remembrance before the Most High. Then all the people together hasted and fell down to the earth upon their faces to worship their Lord God Almighty, the Most High. The singers also sang praises with their voices with great variety of sounds, which they made sweet melody. <coughs> and, <coughs> and the people besought the Lord, the Most High, by prayer before him that is merciful to the somnity of the Lord was ended and then they had finished the service then he went down and lifted up his hands over the whole congregation of the children of Israel to give a blessing of the Lord with his lips and to rejoice in his name and they bowed themselves down to worship the second time see that picture that the, the closest thing you got to imagine in your mind right now is them Arabs over there so that you would have all this going on inside the temple. All the priests going inside the temple. Um, only the sons of Levi, uh, the, or the sons of Aaron, were able to, were able to so not, not the sons of Levi, the sons of Aaron, they enter into the holiest of holies, offer to the Lord. He, get it, they, they, he comes back out. All, this, all the priests are around him, standing in the temple. All right? They, 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 they walk out of the temple into the court. The, 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 the singers and the trumpets is ready, awaiting they, for them to come out of the temple. The trumpet sounds, the singing begins, um, the people bring their heads up from the earth, 
give all their prayers while they're singing and singing the holy convocations going on, all type of noise. We're praising the Most High. Everybody is silenced again for the high priest to give his um blessing. And then we quickly bow to the earth again. Man, that was a big, big deal and a big spectacle of worship back in our land of Israel, man. Some of the some of the, some of the most holiest rituals and moments in our history right there, man. See, it's, 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 a, it's a deep, dark, and mystical and, 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 and high.